fast-breaking developments in the coronavirus emergency in the U.S. and around the world. The NCAA has made the decision to cancel the men's and women's tournament. Breaking news tonight, the coronavirus forcing millions more Americans into virtual lockdown. Over 75 million people in New York, California, Illinois, and Connecticut ordered to stay at home. We just had finished winter training. Um, the guys had a phenomenal seven weeks. Uh, we sent them home for spring break, and that's when the outbreak kind of really hit its stride. And so, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty. It's uncharted territory for all strength coaches, you know, around the country. You know, we've never dealt with a pandemic like this before, but it was, what can we give, you know, what resources can we give our guys because we have 100 guys in 100 different situations at home. So supporting these guys wherever they are was, was first and foremost. And then from a physical standpoint, giving them the resources that they need based on their situation. They're the reason we have a job. So the way we kind of took it was we're going to give them every opportunity and every chance to get better. You know, you can look at this situation one of two ways with the quarantine. You can say, oh, you know, most guys, they don't have a lot of equipment. They're probably not going to do much. Or we can overload them with options and, you know, hope that they take a few of those options. And the guys came back in phenomenal shape. So something we did worked. It was months of meetings. Uh, there was a lot of collaboration between strength staff, sports medicine, the doctors, and Coach Bowl. Um, and so we felt like we had a really good plan moving forward. Um, what we did didn't change. The structure and the protocols that we were um, within definitely changed. The group numbers were smaller. Um, we tried to space guys out a lot more. Uh, when we do our runs, we have a group in the IPF, a small group. We have a group in the war on one end. We have a group in the war on the other end. So we want to space guys out as best as possible. We're still going just as hard. Our program has not slowed down one bit. Do we have to allow extra time in between groups to wipe things down or make sure you know things are on point? Absolutely, but nothing has changed with our program. We're training as if we didn't miss two months. We've got a, an unbelievable group of young men on this team that take ownership and pride in their work. I'm really happy with where they're at. Um, and that's a tribute to their hard work and their focus and their positive mental attitude they've had all summer. Um, they've had a great six weeks so far. Another big worry as the country begins to reopen, when can colleges and universities open their doors? There, there are many layers here. What's the confidence level right now that we will actually have a college football season this fall. We don't know what's going on this fall. We can't control any of that. Uh, we're going to revert back to our culture, which is rep by rep, set by set, day by day, controlling what we can control. And our guys have done an unbelievable job with that. They've come in focused, ready to work. I think that they're making correct decisions outside of here. You know, when they're in the facility, it's very structured, it's very sanitary. We have procedures and protocols that we go through. The most important thing was the buy-in from our athletes when they leave this facility. And again, credit our guys. They're making great decisions. They're staying safe. Um, they're wearing their masks. Um, so they've done a great job outside the facility. We're gonna look back on this situation and say, hey, remember that one time we went through 2020? And, you know, it's not going to, we're not going to look back and say, man, 2020 was really hard, um, you know, and put limitations on ourselves. This is why we didn't get this done. This is why we didn't get this done. No, we're going to say we had all of these, all of this adversity. And you know what? We overcame it and we got better regardless. Yeah.